The Helena Symphony Orchestra is a professional orchestra. They work under a master agreement, effectively like a union. And it's like dealing with a pretty big sports team. You have 78 players, you're 13 principals. They're sort of like your captains. These players, most of them are, are full-time musicians in some way. Teachers, professors, freelancers. There's changes needed sometimes. Some people are ready to retire. Some people might be relocating. We don't fill those positions quickly. We take our time. There's an interview process. The auditions to get in the orchestra are blind. They're behind a curtain and there's an audition committee. A professional orchestra traditionally rehearses very tightly. Four or five rehearsals, that's it. Their the music is distributed by the librarian. It's in their contract. They have to have it in their hands no less than three weeks before the first rehearsal. They're expected to arrive fully performance ready. I mean, they're expected to be on a much higher level. When you're the music director, you're not just conducting. You're working with the people who are fundraising. You're working with the marketing people. You are help guiding the ship. We get involved with music, at least I did, just to make music. I never thought about the other stuff. But that stuff is equally as important. You want to be involved in the community. You want to be out there. Your name is the name under the logo. The nonprofit world, it's not a top-down structure. It's a circle. Our staff, the musicians in the orchestra, the musicians in the corral, the board, all told the organization's about 200 people. Everybody has a voice at the table. Everybody has an impact. It's hard not to be excited to work for a group that makes art.